In May of 2017, Best Guy Ever created a legacy. I'm announcing an event for the entire month of May of 2017. Mia Mafava! That's right, Mia Mafava! Maybe I'll actually make a fucking video! His quest to upload daily videos for an entire month inspired countless other creators to do the same. But why is that? I mean, it's not as if the concept of creating constant content is new or in service of higher quality material. What made Mia Mafava stand out? To determine that, we first have to take a look at the genius behind the project. T-Bap is a My Little Pony- No, no, no! Too far back! Best Guy Ever took the YouTube scene by storm with his two-part spectacular, best anime ever, Tengentapa Gurren Lagann. He then went on to discuss the best game ever, the best manga ever, and he even conducted the best lecture ever. His content was fantastic, but it took too long to make. The YouTube algorithm rewards a high output rate, and because Nate wasn't uploading frequently enough, he wasn't attracting a broad audience at the speed he wanted. And so Mia Mafava was born. Morning! Nate went all in on this event. He had a theme song, graphics, merchandise. Mia Mafava transcended its roots as an uploading challenge and became a brand. It was a financial benefit, both through AdSense and merch sales. It was a social benefit, both in terms of bringing in new viewers and interacting with pre-existing ones. It was a creative benefit, as it allowed Nate to both explore ideas that wouldn't fit into his prior format and experiment with different presentation styles. A top 10 songs video where the background music is Nate performing a vocal cover of the track? Fucking brilliant! The content quality may have taken a dip, but the benefits of Mia Mafava went beyond simply cranking shit out for money and views. Oh, and, uh, did I forget to mention the sheer fortitude required to pull this off? This man had to make daily videos on top of working a full-time job. Forget sleep, this man may very well have lost a piece of his sanity along the way. But he didn't quit, he soldiered through those 31 days like a champ. Because to get results, you gotta put in the work. And that's exactly what Bestie Boy did. A round of applause for the best guy ever. Now, as you might guess, this Herculean display of mental and physical determination inspired quite a few people to take up the challenge themselves. Hippocrite, the electric hobo, Kato, 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 uh, Kato, 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 those are just the people I'm aware of. But the fascinating thing about all of these Mia Mafava knockoffs is seeing what the challenge means for different creators. Of course, the general drive to produce content remains the same, but the personal motivations behind that drive change from person to person. For Hippocrite, it was about learning not to slave over a video for six months that probably didn't need to be slaved over. The Electric Hobo was determined to overcome his confusion about what he wants to do with his life and wholeheartedly commit to something. 31 Days of Kato the Right Answer gave Zero and Hoodie a chance to experiment with different formats, as well as buy time to work on a few major projects. Since its conclusion, Mia Mafava has transcended Best Guy Ever and pierced the heavens of Anitube. It has become a star of inspiration that shines upon the fellow creators who currently reside in Nate's shadow. But one day, once these YouTubers have come to harness the power of Mia Mafava, they may stand beside the Best Guy Ever. Stronger. More confident. But most importantly, woke as fuck. That's pretty good, right? No! So the big plot twist that you probably saw coming is that I'm starting my own Mia Math of a challenge right now. The this is day one. Now, unlike best guy ever. I don't have a clear branding idea, and unlike Kato, this isn't so I can buy time for a bigger project. My agenda is twofold. First of all, I want to burn any lazy habits I've developed over the last several months out of my system by tying myself down to a specific schedule and cranking out a bunch of content. I'd also like to overcome this weird creative block I picked up when I left college. As you should know, I overthink everything, and while I'm glad that I can evaluate things critically because of this, I also have a tendency to drop ideas before they really even get started. In the last several months, I've written a fair amount of unfinished scripts that I gave up on out of a fear that they wouldn't make for a good video. But I've also published videos that I don't think are any good. To make better videos, I first need to make more videos more consistently. 
At this point in my Anytube career, I shouldn't be concerned by attempting to reach perfection, because that's a false notion of perspective. That's a false notion of perfection, and that's why I'm gonna leave that take in, because it wasn't perfect, and jokes. Instead, I should lower my expectations so I can improve at a faster rate, and eventually, my current best will become my future average. If I want quality, I have to put in the work. That's what meme half of a means to me. So with that out of the way, welcome to March Wiz. March comes in like a math whiz. The Ides of March, but the 31st equivalent of Well, I can't just do 31 days of math whiz. That's unoriginal. So like, March Madness is a thing. We could do math madness. Eh, wish me luck.